Hello guys and girls, Faxi Raven TV here with another Fallout 76 video. And in this video we will be checking out the Foundation Vengeance. And yes, this is the Foundation Foundation's Vengeance. So we all know it it's a bloody it's weapon explosion and 250 damage resistance while reloading. I just modified it a little for my preference. So we have the lullaby skin on it. It looks amazing. Look at that. That is just a gorgeous skin right there, in my opinion. Loose a little lullaby, yeah. With no muscle, gunner sight, prime barrel, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we took out the uh, shredder on it to gain that little more range here. The damage is 111 on the card here. And uh, it shoots extremely fast, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good weapon. It's a good heavy weapon for sure. Um, but we will see how good it is. For the build, the build is something like this. And this is my build, this is how I like to play with the weapons, the heavy explosive, explosive weapons here. And uh, if you like to play something else, it's totally fine. Pause the video here if you need to watch and copy paste the build here. For the legendary perk cards, they are as follow. And the effects are, I mean the uh, mutations are adrenaline reaction, bird bones, carnivore, eagle eyes, egghead, muscle pain, scaly skin and speed demon. We are fully hydrated and fully fed because we are always on perfect bubblegum. So, we will be taking on something like on double tree so we have a, ch uh, a 30 percent chance to avoid damage from explosions and because of the curator whoops this magazine will last for an hour there we go one hour yes so oh i almost forgot i almost forgot about the armor I tend to do that, I'm sorry about it. But they are as follow. Always the 3 star unyielding secret service armor here that I'm always using when I'm in my secret service bloodied whatever char character here. And for the under armor we're using the shielded line line of under armor here for 4 strength, 2 perception and 4 endurance. Let's get to it. So let's hope the giant behemoth is awake. And uh, at least he's not been killed. This is not a stealth build. This is a rather tanky build. You can actually sustain a lot of damage with this one here. So we are just gonna stand up and start firing at him. And there we go. He's dead. The damage... Damage didn't see, seem seem to be that high. Uh, it seemed like we were only tickling him. So uh, that was a stealth bar. Always use a stealth bar. So, yeah. Let's see what the super mutants have to say about this weapon. And I have to say, the grenadier actually makes it harder, a lot harder, to see where, do you, where you're aiming what you're hitting and so on because the explosion radius is just over the top and i think i don't think we need it i think it's 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 stupid it's lame and uh, uh yeah i mean i can't tell if he's moving left or right up there i just can't Gonna shoot your nuke. There we go. Yeah, the damage doesn't seem like... Was that a legendary bloody knife? So a bloody knife, yeah. If it had, like, attack speed, that would be good. But um, sadly it doesn't. Please go away, you stupid hounds. But I just think the explosion is... Is I mean, look, we're hitting that one over there. It is, it is just too much in my opinion. But um, if if I was actually playing this as a main build or whatever, I would actually have done something like a one star and grenadier, maybe even take grenadier totally off. But let's just 
take one star in Grenadier. Then we have one left. Then I would have gone with something like the. So it's lacking when I'm in in here because of I because of all of my perk cards. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, one star in Grenadier and then make make it three star for the extermination uh, exterminator here. Just so you can kill these insects faster, because they are rather tough. They do have some armor on them. At least the ants does. Holy fuck, the ants! They are, they're tough. They can be tough. They are hard to see as well. So yeah, let's reload up here and let's get inside. So the explosion radius now, it's way better in my opinion. Will you die, please? There you go, you foul creature. But as you can see, this is a rather tanky build. We can take on most enemies here, just close up. If not er actually every enemy. The other damage. Eh, I'm not too sure about the damage. If I was, to be honest, I would rather use this one as a melee. Uh, I just put the shredder on and uh, just uh, no bullets and use it as a melee weapon. Cause it ain't it ain't the best damage, I have to say. We can do better with any other weapon, to be honest. Even a ten millimeter pistol. This one fires extremely fast. Yeah, I know that. And it's good in events to, to just tap enemies with it. Sure, sure. It is. But uh, then you need a 2 star in Grenadier. I mean, the explosions is only 9 damage. That is it. Only 9 damage, though. Let's reload here. It uses a lot of bullets as well. But I mean, the 5mm are super easy. And we just took a rocket to the face without caring. That dog is stuck in the wall. Help him out by killing it. There we go. Did he just fall down? He did. Random. He fell down to the <laughs> into the toxic. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, that's how. Yeah, for me the explosion is still too high. If I was playing this as main build, I would take I would take Grenadier totally off. Look! Look! He's in. <laughs> he's just in it. He's in it to win it. I hear a dog. I hear a doggo. There we go, you foul creature. Die. Uh, oh, a three star. That is rare. I'm gonna pick up a lot of ammo here. At least a little ammo. Any, any, anything else? Yeah, there we go. You can get your ammunition back as well. At least some of it. Let's get inside here. Kill the rest of the mutes. Die, 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 die. Everyone needs to die. Die. Pray and pray, mother ever. Yeah, I'm sorry if you uh, if you have a uh, epilepsy. You will, uh, you will for sure have that. Uh, get that now in the from the from the video here. Holy smoke! That is a lot of blinding light. We it, it's e even only a one star in the grenadier. Imagine if we had had two stars in it. Holy frigaruni! The damage is actually less than on the card. The card, the damage is hundred and 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 and, uh, and thirty, but it ain't. 
It's a lot less. Can you tell me why that is, guys and girls? Why is the damage actually lower? Normally it's actually higher. Look at that, 88. And uh, that was even to face. To the face. Danger. I have to, to find the, the last mutes. Toxic goo! <laughs> we didn't need that. Where the frig are they? Are they taking a piss on me? No, danger. <laughs> From what? Oh, that's a doggo. Was that it? That was it. Damn. So we are going inside here again, and I am gonna put on Grenadier rank two star here. Two star here. Two star there. And then we are getting down. Hopefully, Myla Queen here down here, because the other one was uh, there was a, a winter close up. So I think he killed it. He might have killed it. If the if he if he killed this one down here, we have to do something else. Something else. Something else. But yeah, this weapon is it is it good for anything than than tapping creatures? Look at that, you can even get staggered. So you have to spin it up again. That is that is the sad thing with spin up weapons. Is that you can actually Someone else is fighting the Myla Queen. I think they are the raiders over there, right? We just took poison to our face. And she just hit us. And we're fighting other creatures as well. Yep, this build is tanky. It's a tanky build, guys and girls. Oh, yawn. Anyone else wants some, huh? Uh huh. Guess not. Oh, you want some? Oh, there you go, my leg. Foul creature. They are foul. Darn foul. Do I see a, a Scorch Beast? Did I not see a Scorch Beast fire at some? No, <laughs> that's a player using the uh, Thirst Saber up there, I think. Right? I think. Yeah, it's a player. <laughs> Using something up there. I don't know what it is, though. It looks fun. It looks like a Thirst Saber. But then again, it, it really doesn't. Who knows what that is. Um. So, yeah. Um. And the Mile... Uh, not the Mile, like the... Um, the lesser tough enemies, like the Mole Miners here. But uh, is it is is it a weapon I would use? Uh, not really. I mean, I have Gauss uh, Gauss uh, miniguns. Uh, it, it it's just better than this. Gauss miniguns are just better. So when I use this, maybe if if I'm new and I don't have bullets for for Gauss, I mean they are rather expensive to use. And someone has been on a spray here, killing the mole miners. Oh, we have one here. Yeah, they're dying, like, in no time at all. So, yeah, the mole miners you can kill with a few rounds. I am, I am getting, I'm getting blinded. My eyes hurts. My eyes are hurting. That was a lot of blinding light. St that's no... Uh, someone is always taking these bubble heads up there. Leave some for me. That's all right. It is all right. 
But yeah, there you have it, guys and girls. Uh, I, I suppose a a a a a, a good looking. Uh, I mean, a really good looking with the uh, looser looser little lo loose sills, whatever. L I I call it the lullaby. Amazing good looking paint, I have to say. I want something like this on every single weapon. I mean, holy smoke, this looks good. So good. I like the drum, I like the paint, I like the gold, I like the black, I like... It's just a good looking weapon. Is it, is it, is it useful? <laughs> Maybe for tapping in events. I mean, it is... It is easy to control like this, right? You just have to spray and pray in events. And, uh... As you can see... We're tapping enemies over there. They are the goals, I suppose. Yeah, look at that feral goal. But are we killing them fast enough? We're not even killing it. And that we spent 500 ammunition. It is also an expensive weapon when you consider how much ammo it spends for killing just a, a, a single mob. Or a few mobs. Um, look, nine damage from the explosion. That is it. You're better on using something like a Tesla rifle, or just, I mean, something else like a fixer or a handmade, or several other weapons. Ten damage. Why is it not dead yet? 10 damage times 400, right? There we go. So I, yeah. I don't know. I like the gun. Don't, uh, don't get me wrong. I do. It's a, it's a good looking gun and a fun gun to use. But you can find other weapons that are better, for sure. That is, that is not even uh, a joke. You absolutely can. But if you just are, if you're all about just spray and pray, well, go go ahead, use this weapon. It is it is a good spray and pray weapon for sure. So yeah, there you have it, guys and girls. I think that would be it for me for this time. And uh, take care. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, do you want to say goodbye as well? There you go. Goodbye. Take care. I will see you in the next one.